Hello everyone, this is Doomguy. Two popular questions I see commonly on Discord, Reddit, and other social media are, what weapons should I use, and how do I build into it? Check it out. Independently targeting particle beam failings. What? For I have a city with this puppy. We got tactical smart missiles, base plasma pulse rifles, RPGs, we got sonic electronic ball breakers. <laughs> We got nukes, we got knives, sharp sticks. You do not want to fuck with me. In this video, we are going to briefly discuss a variety of basic build setups that you can use whether you are a new player or experienced veteran. Do keep in mind that there are thousands of combination of perks, weapons, legendaries, and other variables you'll uncover while playing the game. However, I merely just wish to cover the basics in the most simplistic manner possible. I will leave timestamps in the description below should you need a specific basic build setup. Firstly, however, I would like to emphasize that if you need to switch perks around, be sure to use the punch card machine, or more commonly referred to as the perks booth, as this will allow you to change your build setup. If you are below level 50 or 80, you may need to level to fully unlock all obtainable perks. First we will cover the commando or automatic rifle setup under perception. There are going to be four primary cards you will need. Commando, Expert Commando, Master Commando, and Tank Killer. The three Commando cards will increase your automatic weapons damage and Tank Killer will give your rifles a bit of extra armor penetration. Next we will cover the semi-automatic rifle setup under Perception. You will need Rifleman, Expert Rifleman, Master Rifleman, and Tank Killer. The Rifleman perks will increase the damage of your semi-automatic rifles. Tank Killer, as previously stated, will increase your damage a bit and provide you with armor penetration. On an advanced note, Rifleman also affects plasma rifles with the flamer attachments. This does not affect the pistol variant. Bows and crossbows will be under perception. The perks you will need are Archer, Expert Archer, Master Archer, and Bow Before Me. The three Archer perks will increase your bow and crossbows damage, and Bow Before Me, much like Tank Killer, will provide you with a little bit of extra damage from armor penetration and a chance to stagger your targets. Heavy weapons like the Minigun, Flamer, Plasma Caster, and others can be spec through the Strength and Intelligence category. You will need Heavy Gunner, Expert Heavy Gunner, Master Heavy Gunner, and if you are utilizing Power Armor, Stabilized. The three Heavy Gunner perks will increase the damage of your heavy weapons, and again, if you are using Power Armor, Stabilized will increase your heavy weapons damage by a bit of extra armor penetration, and increase your accuracy. On an advanced note, Auto Grenade Launchers, M79 Launchers, and Standard Rocket Launchers do not benefit from Heavy Gunner. Automatic Pistols can be arranged via Agility and Perception. For Automatic Pistols, you will need Gorilla, Expert Gorilla, Master Gorilla, and Tank Killer. The three Gorilla perks will increase your automatic pistol damage and Tank Killer will provide you a bit of extra damage from armor penetration. On an advanced note, Gorilla does not affect the plasma pistol when using the flamer mod attachment. Semi-automatic pistols, like automatic pistols, can be arranged under agility and perception. You will need Gunslinger, Expert Gunslinger, Master Gunslinger, and Tank Killer. Gunslinger will increase your pistol's damage, and again, Tank Killer will provide you a small bit of damage from the armor penetration bonus it gives you. Next, we will cover shotguns. Shotguns can be managed under strength. You will need Shotgunner, Expert Shotgunner, and Master Shotgunner. The three Shotgunner perks will increase the damage of your shotgun. Single-handed melee weapons like swords, rippers, axes, and others can be found under strength. You will need the cards Gladiator, Expert Gladiator, Master Gladiator, and Incisor. The Gladiator cards will increase the damage of your weapon and Incisor will provide you with extra damage from armor penetration. On an advanced note, fist weapons such as Power Fists, Deathclaw Gauntlets, Gauntlets, and other variations are not affected by Gladiator. Two-handed melee weapons like Super Sledges, War Glaives, Mr. Handy Buzz Blades, and others again will be found under Strength. You will need Slugger, Expert Slugger, Master Slugger, and Incisor. 
The Slugger perks will increase the damage of your melee weapon and then Scissor will provide you a bit of extra damage from the armor penetration bonus. Unarmed or commonly known as fist weapons like Deathclaw Gauntlets, Power Fists, Mole Miner Gauntlets and the like can be found under strength. You will need Iron Fist and then Scissor. Iron Fist will increase the damage your fist weapons do and your Scissor will provide you a bit of extra damage from the armor penetration bonus. Lastly, we will cover explosives including grenades and various launchers. You will need Demolition Expert which can be found under Intelligence and Grenadier which can be found under Perception. Demolition Expert will increase the damage of your explosive weapons and grenades. Grenadier will expand the blast radius of your explosive weapons and grenades. On an advanced note, the Hellstrom Launcher is the only launcher that benefits from heavy gunner perks. Most launchers also benefit from Stabilized. As for specific legendary perks, build styles, setups, buffs, debuffs, mutations, and the like, we may potentially cover in another video as there are so many different varieties, variables, and preferences each individual player likes and enjoys. It is practically impossible to cover each and every detail. Unfortunately, I can't tell you what weapon you should use as each weapon is completely dependent on what weapon you, the viewer, want to use and enjoy. I do hope this video provides you with at least the basic knowledge of how to increase the damage of your various weapons. I do understand that I may have forgotten to cover various weapons and did not cover each and every specific weapon, as this would turn into a 10 hour long video. If this guide helped you, leave a like and leave a comment below and consider subscribing. This is Doomguy, Rip and Tear. Thank you.